Hello everybody and welcome to this little video. I didn't actually think I'd be making this video, but uh, I was actually gonna be doing a stream today, uh, but unfortunately, due to uh, due to storms, my stream kept going down. So I'm making a video on how I make Overwatch thumbnails, just because a lot of people have actually asked, um, and a lot of people actually know me as uh, my, jo my side job besides YouTube is I make uh, YouTube thumbnails. So for example, if I click on Photoshop here, you can see this is my hide and seek thumbnail I did. Pretty simple one actually. Um, and then if I show you guys this one, here is a, a D.Va one that I did uh, on my channel, which was in arcade mode in a nutshell. So you can see there's a, there's a couple of different ways you can do it. Um, but, uh, so this is the SFM one, uh, S SFM type of thumbnail that I would usually do. For example, if, you're not, if you are not versed in, obviously, SFM, because that is something that's not super easy to get into, um, something you can do, I'm gonna drag it in here, is you work with screenshots. So for example, this is a screenshot that's in game um, that, you know, I could, you know, I'm gonna zoom in because it's pretty big and I can, you know, zoom in here and then, there we go, we'll press enter. Um, it's pretty nice, it looks really good. Uh, do this, add some vibrance, you know, and then let's just pretend like this is hide and seek. Uh, let's see here. So yeah, we'll pretend like this is hide and seek and then boom, like right there, look at that. That's like a pretty cool, you know, little thumb. So I'm gonna show you guys how you can do this. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys how to do the easy way first, which is just with Overwatch. Uh, just so you guys know, I am using Photoshop um, to do this. So you, this is Photoshop. Um, uh, you can get it for like 10 bucks a month uh, if you wanna try it out. Um, I know there's other ways that you can do it. There's also free ver free um, software that I recommend, like Paint.net is a really good one. Um, and besides that, there's a couple others, but Paint.net is one I'd recommend because it's free and it's pretty good. Uh, so what we're gonna do first of all is you're gonna launch Overwatch, of course, when you press play. Um, so this is a pretty easy way for you to pretty pretty easy way to do it. Um, but we're gonna, I'm gonna show you guys how to do it regardless um, because this is a good way to do it if you don't know SFM. So for example, what you're gonna do first is you're gonna go to options, you're gonna go to, uh, if I'm not mistaken, you're gonna go to, uh, do, 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 where is it? Uh, video, yes, so it's, if you go to video, you're gonna go to advanced, and then you're gonna see, you see here it says screenshot quality, minus 7X, which is one below the highest resolution. I'd say if you are doing thumbnails, you might wanna keep it around five to seven. Um, three is okay, one is definitely not my, I would not recommend, but three to seven depends on how your computer, how much your computer slash laptop can handle. So what you're gonna do now is, for example, um, you can do play the games so for example like this would be a good screenshot right there to do a screenshot all you have to do is do i think it's print screen yes yeah, so your print screen if you click on that button you see it, it paused there for a second so you're like oh why did it pause there if i show you guys my folder here i'm gonna drag it on screen here um i have my little screenshots folder um and then this it's loading right now because these files are big so for for me it's 7x at resolution but it's Every file is about 400 megabytes. Um, so yeah, as you can tell, I'm, 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 I have a lot of a lot of uh, stuff there. I just probably deleted like three gigabytes. Um, but for example, if this ever loads, uh, I don't know why it's not loading. Please load. A big fan. No. Okay. All right. We'll, we'll maybe we'll, uh, we'll we'll do print screen again. Maybe maybe it's just a glitch in the matrix. Maybe they know I'm recording a, a, a tutorial. Okay. There we go. I don't know why this one didn't work. It's it's fine. But it'll show up in here, and as you can see, it's beautiful and and very nice. So the difference in and the, the difference in resolution, if you guys don't know what that means, is um, if I go in here and I drag, I'm gonna put this on my other monitor. If I drag it in here, as you can see, it's um, it's pretty like pretty nice quality. So the more I zoom in, you can see that it's not too pixelated. But for instance, if I let's say if I rasterize this. If I zoom in a lot and hit apply, you can see it's like it starts to get a little bit more like grainy. So that's what happens when you have a le like a lower resolution. So right now I, I'm zooming in even more so I can show you guys like the more you zoom in, the more grainy it's gonna look and the more like less of quality it'll look. So for instance, you can see it's like kind of choppy and blurry and all that, but that's okay. So anyways, that's how you can do that. So um 
I don't know what, what what thumbnail we're doing. I guess we can do like, uh, for instance, we're doing hide and seek again. Let's just put, say we're doing a legendary Reinhardt hide and seek. So to do this right here, what I'm doing here, what you only have to do is press Control Alt Z, and there you go. You can see it, it, it removes the HUD from the image, so you can see get a better look at what you're t kind of taking a picture of here. So I'm taking a screenshot there of the victory pose. So you can do that with anything. You can do it with sprays, you can do it with highlight intros, weapons, anything. Anything at all. Um, even in game you can take screenshots. It's super, it's a very, very powerful screenshot system. So um, there you go. So I've already shown you guys how to do that, but uh, the Reinhardt thing, it's not loading. I think it's not loading because I'm actually recording a video. So maybe that's why, but yeah, it, it's weird. It's weird. But anyways. Um, so yeah, that's how you do it, and uh, after that, as soon as you drag in your um, screenshot, you can do whatever you want with it. So for instance, sometimes I'll go and and you know make the 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 colors brighter and more they pop out. Put in your own text. Uh, for for instance, I have a custom text effect uh, that I use. So there you go. That's pretty much it. And then you can add in whatever else. For example. You can add in a logo, so an Overwatch logo, I have one here, I could just, boom, put that right there. Um, and there's a couple other stuff that you can do too, so, um, if I wanted to, if I double click on this, I can add like a drop shadow to that, make it pop. So, there's a lot of stuff I can, that, like, I can go on about how you can do stuff to customize this, um, for like, an hour, but on Photoshop, but we're not gonna do that, we're gonna keep it simple, so. For, for the sake of the video, there you go, that's a thumbnail completed. But uh, now I'm going to show you guys how I do thumbnails in SFM. So I have actually just recently learned this, yesterday actually, I learned this yesterday, but I'm going to show you guys how I do my thumbnails. So we're going to launch this up, and then there you go. So SFM is a really, really, really powerful tool if you guys want to learn it. It is not uh, f user friendly, you'll have to learn do a lot of learning. Thankfully, I had already known how to use um, uh, Cinema 4D, so that's why I was like, I kind of got the uh, the gist of it. So I'm gonna open up Recent uh, just so I can show you guys. Um, I don't know if it's saved. It might have saved, but we'll find out. But it is loading my map. So for example, you can see here I've already got my pose here with Junk Rat. He's hiding behind a box, and we got Roadhog. So this is for the hide and seek uh, stream that we we're gonna do. So we're going to start from scratch though, so you guys can see, uh, we're going to do new, uh, we're going to do test number two, and then create. Uh, I'm going to continue without saving. Okay. So as you can see, I've already got a map loaded here. This is a map on the workshop. We'll, we'll load up uh, a different map though. Let's unload the map. So from here, you can do right click, load map. Um, let's just say we're loading up, I don't know. Uh, Granary, or no, Gorge. I, I I don't really know too much about TF2 maps, but we'll load this up because I can. So there you go. Um, it might take a little bit because obviously a map is pretty big and has a lot of objects in there, so it might it might take a little bit. But uh, also, what's cool about this SFM is if you want to learn how to do animation, this is a great way to do it as well. Um, but yeah, it's uh. It's pretty cool. So there we go. We've got the uh, we got the map. If I'm holding, I hold left click and use WASD. Uh, I can move around the map. So okay. Anyway, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually load in the model and we're gonna load in Diva here because she's already here, which is perfect. So as you can see, I've got this model here. Uh, you can actually just find these for free on the workshop. A lot of fans uh, of the content have actually made this. So it's pretty nice. So uh, of course, uh, it looks a little grainy as you can see on screen, but that's okay. That's normal. Don't worry about that. Um, you can fix that. I'm not going to explain all the details, but obviously if you want to do more research on it, then there you go. So what we're going to do is we're going to do rig. We're going to load it up rig animations bit because what we're going to do is have her animated. Um, and by that, I mean, uh, it's kind of hard to explain, but you'll see. So for instance, we're going to do import sequence, and we're going to have her do a tracer uh, pose. So if I do tracer pose six, or we'll do five, and hit open, as you can see now, 
Uh, let's see. Now Diva is doing a little pose that Tracer does. It is a little bit wonky, as you can see. You know, her fingers like sort of glitched in there. But of course, you can fix this on your own. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on this button, and then I should be able to um, adjust Diva as I want to from this pose because obviously, you know, the pose. It, it's kind of hard to explain, but the pose is not like set in stone yet if that makes sense so i have to sort of do that for it so now we just gotta wait for it and i'll be right back okay so i've gone ahead and baked it down so now it's like set in stone so i can actually remove this animation rig here when delete it here so now i can go ahead and adjust it so her finger's stuck in there so i'm gonna fix that up we're gonna rotate that out there we go nice and pretty so what's also really cool is i can adjust her face if i want to so we're gonna do that. We're gonna make Diva make like a really funny face, and you can adjust her eyes. I can make her like squint and frown, be like, mm, like you know, like I see you, I see you. Um, also, I can make her, you know, open her mouth. You know, there's so many different things you can really do, which I think is super awesome. Um, I think that's it. Just there's so much you can do. So if I were to, for instance, l lip up and lip down and open the jaw you can see here i can like you know sort of adjust this and make this like you know i can make her smile and like it's it's obviously you can come up with something that looks absolutely terrifying but or something that you're satisfied with it's sort of up to you really um uh, but i think that's what's really cool about um yeah like like i said terrifying uh, but I think that's what's really cool about um, SFM is um, that you can just do so much with this. Um, and I just think that's super awesome. Uh, because it's just it, it just really brings the thumbnails to life if in your own way. And I think that's really cool. And all, yeah, don't make sure not to zoom in all the way because that's terrifying. But yeah, like right there, let's pretend like this is the pose that I want. Um, you know you can do whatever like i said you can you can literally do whatever you want so i can make her like lift this leg up like all the way if i really wanted to uh yeah there's like so much i can do and you know have her like move her arm like this you know like i said it's 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 really cool uh really cool but what i'm gonna do now is if i go to render settings here are my render settings you know I'm gonna do override and you know do override and no motion blur. Eh, we'll just leave motion blur. Hit OK, and then we're gonna file export poster because this is obviously not a poster. We're gonna continue without saving. Uh, I have a little folder here uh, called the new folder. We're gonna do testerino save and then hit PNG, and then we're gonna do uh, export poster. So now we just have to wait. Uh, oh yeah, I guess one thing I forgot to mention is this is a work camera. You have to switch this to camera one because that'll be what is exported. So there you go. So this is camera one. This will be. This is what will be exported when you do your shot. Forgot to mention that, but that's okay. You, you go. You, you learn as you go. So there we go. So now it'll render out, and we will be right back. All right. So it's gone ahead and render it out. So I'm gonna actually minimize this. We're back on Photoshop. I'm gonna open up my folder here with my testerino and drag it right in and as you can see it's now all nice and buttery and smooth and flaky and i don't know it's not flaky but as you can see it's nice and smooth because you know we we got all that we rendered it out rendering basically means it's like f f finish finalizing your product so there you go i'm gonna you know put in my text and look at that like that's a that's a thumbnail and of course i can adjust it if i want to add you know brightness you know not too much brightness but you know, you can make it too dark or too bright, but uh, that's just something you, you you can adjust on your own. Like, you know, contrast, no contrast, contrast, no contrast. Um, and there's just such, a, such like a, a, a vast variety of stuff that you can do. And that's why I really like, you know, being an artist because, you know, it's, it's my scene and I can do whatever I want. So there you go. That's how I do my thumbnails. I hope you guys enjoyed this little, how does Alex make his thumbnails? Um, and there's just like so much, like I said, there's so much you can do if you guys ever wanted to. Um, and you can be creative. For example, like this blue sky, I know I was going to end off the video, but now I see a good opportunity for to show you guys something. If I just like, you know, for example, 
Uh, I have like a sky here, here that I can just drag in, uh, or copy and paste, I should say. Uh, and look at this. So like this beautiful sky, I can put this up here and um, boom, look at this. Now I have a sky, you know, we'll have a drop shadow here, you know, like bam, like let's let's do a before and after like you know kind of kind of boring you know plain bland sky you know whatever and then boom bright and beautiful sky boring beautiful um and like for example i can blur this out so this oh not not the not the image but the sky a little bit so like you know diva pops out a little bit more but like look at that there's just so much you can do but regardless i hope you guys enjoyed this little video if you guys want to see something like this again make sure to let me know in the comments um and yeah love you guys so much have a wonderful day and i'll see you guys tomorrow goodbye